Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for stopping by. If you are new here, then please take a moment to subscribe to my channel and please help my channel to grow even more. So in today's video, I'm going to share with you this wedding guest makeup look with warm eyes and beautiful brick red lips. I love this combo, these lips and these eyes. These are just perfect, like made for each other and it is really a versatile look you can wear it with any indian or western outfit i believe and i love the way it turned out so yeah without further ado let's get started i already moisturized my face half an hour ago now I'm using this Wet n Wild Photo Focus Primer and I'm just applying it all over on my face and neck then I'll be blending it out using my fingers. This primer is so nice though it is a matte finish primer but it doesn't dry out my skin at all and it does smooth out my skin and makes it soft like baby's butt. I highly recommend you this primer. Now I'm using this Maybelline Aged Wine Concealer in the shade Sand Sable and I'm just cleaning up the borders of my brows. I already did my brows off the camera. If you want to check my eyebrow routine, I will link that video down in the description bar below so please check that out. I already applied the concealer on my lids as well because it will act as an eyeshadow base for me. Now I'm using this Milani Concealer, sorry, Conceal and Perfect Twin One Foundation in the shade Warm Beige, and I'm just buffing it in using a damp beauty sponge. This is my Real Techniques beauty sponge. This foundation is so nice; it gives almost full coverage, and this is really blendable, and it doesn't look cakey at all. Now I'm using the same concealer, and I'm just applying it under my eyes down the bridge of my nose center of my forehead and sides of my mouth just under where I'm going to place my contour next then again I'm just blending everything out using the same beauty sponge I applied a little bit more concealer on my eyelids as well because previously the concealer was not sufficient so I just applied some more And thank God I chose this shade for my concealer because this has a really nice yellow undertone to it and it does cancel out any darkness or any pigmentation. Now I'm using this Oriflame Translucent Loose Powder and with the same beauty sponge I'm just setting the areas wherever I applied the concealer. Now with a fluffier powder brush, I'm just slightly setting into my face and neck. Now for my eyes, first I'm taking this eyeshadow from my Makeup Revolution Loaded Velvet Rose Palette and I'm just applying it as my transition color. Again, these palettes are really really good. I'm taking this shade this warm orange shade from the same palette and I'm just applying it on my crease again you do not have to use the same palette for creating a similar look you can definitely go ahead and use similar colors to create a similar look I think these palettes are, are not available in India but again you can use any similar color for, from any similar palette I'm using this shade and I'm just placing it on my outer V area I'm also dragging it towards my inner corner just a bit I'm using this dark brown shade from the same palette and I'm just applying it over the brown shade to give my 
crease and my in outer V area more depth. Now with a clean blending brush I'm just blending everything out. Now I'm taking this beautiful rose gold color from my physician's formula shimmer strip the nudes palette and I'm just applying it all over on my eyelids and I also weighted my brush with a makeup fixing spray these eyeshadows is really easy to apply when you weight your brush so I highly suggest you to weight your brush now using the crease color I'm just blending everything out now I'm taking the dark brown shade that I applied on my inner corners and I'm just smudging out my lower lash line I'm taking the shimmer shade that I applied on my eyelids and I'm just applying it on the inner one third area of my lower lash line. Now for tight lining and for my waterline I'm using this Jordana Easyline Eyeliner Pencil in black. This is a really nice eye pencil. This is waterproof and smudge proof. Now I'm preparing my natural lashes for falsies by curling them with this vega eyelash curler and i'm going to apply a coat of this l'oreal lash paradise mascara now i'm using my nyx matte eyeliner and i'm just creating a nice thick wing because no party makeup is complete without a winged eyeliner at least for me if you find difficulty for applying your wing eyeliner I highly suggest you to get this eyeliner because this brush is so good now I'm applying this false eyelashes of the camera these are kiss eyelashes in the styles shy and this is the final eye look now for contouring i'm using this shade from my nyx contour palette and i'm just contouring my face this has a really nice grayish undertone to it and it is perfect for contouring don't worry if it is looking really harsh right now because it will be perfect once all is blended out Now I'm taking this shade and I'm just bronzing up as well as blending out the contour. Now I'm taking this banana shade from the same palette and I'm just brightening up my under eyes just a bit. Now I'm taking this wet and wild color icon blush in mellow wine and i'm just applying it on the high points of my face then i'll be blending it out with my contour this is again a really nice warm tone blush for my highlighter i'm using this elf highlighter in starlight glow and with this elf highlighting brush i'm just hitting the high points of my face like my cheekbones chin cupid bow bridge of my nose and the sides of my forehead i'm also going to highlight my brow bones and my inner corners with the same highlighter this is again a really great highlighter now i'm setting my entire face using this nyx dewy finish makeup setting spray so that there is no excess powder for my lipstick i'm going to use this physician's formula healthy liquid lipstick 
and the shade i forgot the shade and i will definitely mention the shade name in the description bar below so you can check that out so here is the final look I really loved the way it turned out. I personally love this kind of warm toned makeup. I think this is super feminine and this just is perfect for any outfits and this is a versatile look. I hope you enjoyed this video as well. If you did then please hit the like button and please subscribe to my channel. And if you are not following me on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter then please do follow me there. All the links will be given in the description bar below so please do check that out. So see you in my next video. Till then, bye and take care.